I'm Charlie Moore, this is Bruins Academy. Now that is interesting. We're in our childhood home. Class is in session. Hi, I'm Charlie Moore. Do you love hockey? I mean, really love hockey. Well, guess what? You're in luck, because we're about to drop the puck on another exciting episode of Bruins Academy. Tonight, we're gonna hit the golf course, we're gonna find out how they make the ice at the garden. We're gonna do a lot of cool things, and Kevin Miller's gonna be answering the kids' questions. Like I said, it's a pretty good episode. But tonight, we're not starting at the rink. No, 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 no. We're starting at the park. Fenway Park, my man Tori Krug, number 47 for the Boston Bruins. Well, he's throwing out the first pitch. Hey, it's Tori Krug here at Fenway Park, getting ready to throw out the first pitch tonight. But first, I want to get some tips from a real professional. Hey, I'm Joe Kelly with the Boston Red Sox. Thanks for having me on Bruins Academy. What's up, dude? How you doing? Good, how are you, brother? Good, man. You nervous for this one? I don't know, not yet. I think maybe once I get out there. You played baseball though, right? Yeah, I grew up playing baseball. That's something nice. Yeah, I love it. What I recommend for the first pitch at a Major League Baseball game at the best field in the world, I recommend just sticking with the heat and giving the fans what they want. For your first pitch today, we're going to teach you the four-seam fastball, which is, you know, you're going to grip it with these two fingers on top of the horseshoe for a right-handed pitcher, horseshoe facing out. Um, this pitch gives you the most spin and the most velocity. For the first pitch, I recommend kicking your leg as high as you can and driving down the mound and just throwing it as hard as you can. <laughs> the biggest thing of throwing a first pitch is to not bounce it. I mean, guys in the dugout always give guys a hard time. If someone who's throwing the first pitch bounces it. It'd be even cooler if you air melded the catcher and threw it over his head. I need to warm up. I'm like all nervous, man. All right, Joe, thanks for the tips. I think I'm ready to go. Bruins Academy, let's play ball. All right. <laughs> nah, I'm not going up there. Not oh, bad. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for coming out, man. Yeah, thanks for having us. Appreciate it. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Coach Farrell. Thank you. You too. Nice pitch, Tori. A little high and outside. Next time, you might want to get on the mound. More importantly, stick to hockey. Up next on Bruins Academy, we're hooking up with Colin Miller. Now, he's going to show us how to hit a golf ball. Wait, what? No, how to take a slap shot. Well, you'll see. Miller scores! Colin Miller gets his first in the National Hockey League! Hey, this is Colin Miller for Bruins Academy. Today we're doing a little golfing. Oh, you can see my below average golf. <laughs> <laughs> then a little later, I'll probably show you, show you my slap shot, which is average as well. Is, is definitely the same, or for me anyways, because I'm used to uh, taking more slap shots than golf swings. Your weight shifting when you're taking a slap shot, when you're taking your golf swing, I think it's, it's some of the same. Yeah, I'm not a professional golfer, but uh, I think, yeah, if you, if you kind of move your, move your weight through the ball as you're hitting it, then uh, you can generate a lot of power. That's a mulligan, right? That's cool, so Yeah, it's actually really cool. That's kind of cool. That's really <laughs> cool. So should we go back. I think it's pretty good. I think my hockey looks alright. Not bad. My head's up. Ball through's not bad. A bit more, I think. <laughs> On the hockey swing, golf swing, I don't know. For me, it's more difficult to hit a golf ball. Both of them are, are pretty tough, and it's something that uh, definitely needs a lot of practice. Hope you guys learned a little something today. Thanks for having me on Bruins Academy. and I'm from Chickabee. What age did you start playing hockey at? Well, how old are you? Seven. Seven? I started two years before you, so how old would that be? 
five. There you go. That's when I started. I started playing when I was five years old. How old's your brother? Four. So just one year older than him. You like it? You enjoy it? Yeah. Nice. What position do you play? All over. All over? Rover. I like it. Thanks for coming today, bud. Okay. Welcome back to Bruins Academy, my friends. The show about growing the sport of hockey. Why? Because we love hockey. Come on. Hey, do you ever go to the garden before a game and look over and say, hey, how do they make the ice? Yeah, me too. Played along now by Krejci. Krejci, a shot. Before the Boston Bruins get their chance to show their stuff on the ice, the TD Garden Bull Gang needs to do their thing by making the ice. You want to obviously make the best sheet available out there. There's a lot of that goes into the prep. We take a lot of pride on it. My crew takes a tremendous amount of pride on it because it's, you know, it's a reflection on all of us. If we look good, they look good. Here we go. Brad Marchand with the game on his stick. Sudden death overtime, the penalty shot. He scores! Now, if you're gonna make this much ice, the first thing you're gonna need, well, water, and lots of it. Simple holes, 220 feet, get you from one end of the rink to the other. We use this little gizmo. It's basically a hockey stick. That lays down the water for you. This little mess that you see here is basically our paint station. So all our paint, comes out of here. It's mixed in this big bucket. It's pumped through the pump, into the hose system, and out to the rink. The boys take the paint and some special high-definition cloth to create the lines, face-off circles, creases, and of course, that famous spoke B and center ice. It feels good. It's our, it's our pride and joy. Because you know at that point, you've done everything you can, now it's up to them. Marshawn to Bergeron on the drive, save, rebound is loose. Bergeron scores! Matisse Bergeron, the Boston Bruins have won it! Hey guys, thank you for having me at the Bruins Academy. I'll see you at the Garden soon. And now you know how they make ice at your TD Garden. Good stuff. Listen, up next on Bruins Academy, Joe Mora. Wow, he has an interesting hobby for a Boston Bruin player. He likes M&Ms, and I mean everything to do with M&Ms. I personally like the red ones. Yeah, so this is where I grew up, but uh, I got this M&M collection here. Every single year for Christmas, my parents would get me a new M&M dispenser, and I always love those things. Oh, <laughs> I really, really liked like the original ones, like these ones that just when you'd like it was like a bubble gum machine, like a bubble gum dispenser, and you'd like pull his hand down, and then they just rip out <laughs> of the side. I thought that was super cool when I was little, and I'd always play with these things. <laughs> Oh, there's an M&M on there if you want it. It's probably, it's probably only a year or two old. So this one is pretty sweet. A little guy reclining on his chair and every time you'd recline the chair is when they'd fall out. Yeah, these things are great. Oh, that one's sick. We got the fleet here. Here you got the scary movie one. You just crack his leg down and it comes out into the popcorn bin, the roller coaster. Obviously the guy's a little more scared than the girl, but got the little golf man it's swinging away and then it pops out. This guy's shifting gears. So whenever he shifts gears, it goes into the little sidecar. And then you got the hot rod here. He's giving you the thumbs up. And then <laughs> every time you hit him, push down the thumbs up, comes out the back. That one's pretty cool. Yeah, so this is my, you know, highly sought after M&M collection that I've collected over the years for Christmas presents. Pretty unique, I'd say, actually. It's better than collecting stamps. Hi, I'm Ethan, and I'm from Middleborough. What's your favorite part about playing defense? Uh, my favorite part about playing defense? Uh, keeping pucks out of uh, my own net. 
trying to uh, make it hard on the other other team to score. That's my favorite part. Are you, do you play defense? Yeah. I had a good I had a good guess there. <laughs> Thanks for coming today. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Hey everyone, I'm Charlie Moore and welcome back to your favorite hockey show on planet Earth, Bruins Academy. Up next on Bruins Academy, we're going to be hanging out with Jimmy Hayes. Now Jimmy's a local guy, plays hockey, and of course, loves golf. Karen Sweetie has his story. Hey Bruins fans, Karen Sweetie here with Jimmy Hayes at the Bruins Golf Tournament. We're going to hit the links and get to know you a little bit. Alright, sounds good. Alright, here we go. On camera too. So how was uh, summer 2016 for Jimmy Hayes? Uh, it was great. Had a lot of fun here living in Boston and enjoying yeah. the summer. Get to live with your brother. A good opportunity that came there from this man Miller. Do it in first time! Having a younger brother who does the same thing as you for a living and have a family support. It's just been a, it's been a lot of fun the last couple of years. You gotta lay into one here. Wow! You ever seen a guy hit backspin with a driver? What about growing up? What sort of sports did the Hayes family do that bred that competition? <laughs> <laughs> it was a little bit of everything, but it was uh, baseball. We were big baseball. My dad was uh, right. big into the baseball. What's the club of choice? Uh, we're going to go with a three wood here because we're pretty, pretty far away. Don't know where this ball's going. Get going. How much did playing other sports growing up help you? Uh, I think it was huge just uh, to help you the whole overall being an athlete, playing all types of different sports. It just helps with your hand eye coordination and staying active. I think it's, uh, you know, it gets a lot of fun. Right around in front and a goal for Jimmy Hayes! I'm sure a lot of kids watching are growing up too, being like, oh, I could be a Boston Bruin one day. And if you could just take us back maybe to that, those first few moments wearing the spoke to be and being able to represent your hometown. Yeah, it's really cool, especially to be able to grow up a huge Bruins fan and now be able to play. And growing up in Dorchester, I know there's still a lot of young kids there yeah. probably looking the same thing like I was doing. And, you know, to have a kid out of Dorchester to play for the Bruins and it, hopefully it pushes these kids to continue to get better and better. All right, let's dial this one in nice and tight. We could use this. What's the biggest motivation for you going into this season? Uh, the biggest motivation, I think, was uh, you know just con being consistent, just continue to push myself to play at the, at the highest level and continue doing it I every, every night. Oh, it toward goal, Hayes! The hat trick with two tenths of a second to go! Jimmy Hayes lights the lip! We all know hockey players are fit and in shape, but just how in shape are they? And more importantly, how do they get in better shape? Well, the Boston Bruins are all about strength and conditioning and a little thing called body fat testing. Something you will never see me doing at any point in time. So body fat is one of the fitness metrics that we use here with the Bruins. It shows the difference of body fat versus skeletal muscle mass. If we're looking to maximize skeletal muscle, then it would be a focus on protein, and then to have plenty of vegetables, both for the nutrients and for the antioxidant effect, and the vegetables aren't going to add body fat in the same way that it's something like a processed carbohydrate, like pasta or pizza or bagels would do. Rookie, here he goes. There he goes, good shot. The important part for a hockey player is traveling up and down the ice with, with muscle mass that's functional rather than fat. And that can translate into um, performance based on what you're carrying up and down the ice. That's what you call speed. So Colby um, came in, his diet was, was reasonable uh, for a young guy. All right, what was the height? How old are you, Colby? 21. Yet he was really heavy on his carbohydrates and probably not getting enough protein. Coaches thought that he would be a better hockey player, a little more speed, a little more stamina if he were lighter. There are uh, a number of sites on the body that are pinched for body fat. And then there's a calculation that's done and that gives a percentage of body fat. 9.4. Nice. 
With the scale, it uses a different mechanism uh, because electricity travels differently through fat than it does through lean mass. There's more consistency with the scale. The test is completed. And he came in now weighed in at 190 and um, versus 205 or, or higher at some points. So he said he feels really good. He said that his stamina was much improved and he feels good on the ice. So we'll see as the season progresses. Hi, my name is Isabella. And I Where are you from? What's the question you want to ask me? Um, uh, I, uh, yeah, <laughs> we can do it again. That's all right. Hi. Yeah, we'll start over from from the beginning, okay? Hi, my name is Isabella, and I live in Plasto. And I want to be a pro just like you. How do you be a pro so I can be just like you? <laughs> you want to make sure you show up to the rink every day with a good attitude work hard and be a good teammate. Those are the three, three tips I can give you. Does that sound good? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for doing this. <laughs>
Not strange, but I'm sure a lot of guys have said forehead or something like that. Just body parts. That's, I don't know. It's a little weird, uh, to be honest. It's, it's uncomfortable. I don't like doing it. So don't ask me. And again, it's kind of like, what's the point? Like, you plan on having a shower again at some point? Or? I've never done uh, somebody's forehead or chest, but uh, maybe someday. That's gonna wrap up this episode of Bruins Academy. Did I tell you it was gonna be a great episode? Hey, you wanna know what my favorite segment was? All of them. <laughs> Thanks for watching Bruins Academy, the show about hockey, cause we love hockey. From all of us here at the TD Garden, for Karen Sweetie, I'm Charlie Moore. See you next time on Bruins Academy. Who wants a hot dog? <laughs> <laughs>